We have allowed our conditioned minds to run the show. The mind that the, the, the peep, the, the, what our parents tell us and what society tells us and what the TV tells us, it has all been, all this conditioning, okay, has totally hijacked you as a true human spiritual soul. You, you almost don't even have free will with all the trauma and psychological onslaught that's going on. And the, the thing is, is that, you know, there, there's a, Daniel Everett, I like telling this story. There's a guy, Daniel Everett, who went to the Amazon jungle in Brazil. He met with, he was a missionary, and he met with these people to try and convert them to Christianity. So he started talking about Jesus to them after uh, two years of living with them and gaining their trust. He would continue to bring up Jesus. Eventually, they asked him, after months of him talking about Jesus, he was like, what did Jesus look like? Did you know him? And he said, no, I didn't know him. This is from many, many years ago. Oh, so your father must have known Jesus. What did your father say about Jesus? No, my father doesn't know Jesus. We're, dude, we're talking about fucking, you know, a long, long time ago. Oh, so your grandfather clearly knew Jesus then, because otherwise you wouldn't be talking about him. He said, no, man, what the fuck? They don't know how to listen to, go- to, to gospel, to, to, to chatter. They live in the moment. They, li- they, they never give another man advice. This is the, the Piraha people. If you look it up, all right, it's called, uh, the name of the book is called... Uh, don't sleep, there are snakes. Amazing book. Okay, the, the Paraha people, and uh, they don't fucking listen to anybody. They only listen to what they experience and what they know to be true based on their experience with life and their connection with the divine. Everything else is bullshit, and they don't even talk about it. In our country, in our world, most of the world is operating on a completely opposite paradigm. We have the medical doctors telling us something or the news reporter telling us something, and we just believe it and say, oh my God, so scary. They're right. I'm, I have to be scared. I, have to, I need these doctors to save my life. I'm so scared. They want us to be like that all the time. And that needs to stop. When that stops, when that shifts in an individual level, which pretty much everyone in this room, you wouldn't be here if that didn't already shift, that's, uh, that's when the big shifts are going to happen on the planet. So the upside of my illness was that I totally shattered my mind. Shattered. My collective mind was gone. I had no, I would laugh when people would like talk to me about things like, oh, scientists say this or this. I would literally just laugh. I didn't know how to, I didn't know how to talk to people anymore because they, I just felt like they weren't talking from their experience. They were talking from what they'd been taught. And uh, so that's the upside, right? I now had a clean slate to start on. So the truth of the matter is I'm not a doctor, right? I'll never be, but many doctors and I went to fucking a lot of doctors. I don't even know if I put that in the story. Checking me out on my blood and all this, fondling my nuts. <laughs> they had nothing to say. They were totally, did have no fucking advice whatsoever. And I know a lot of people, majority of people with health issues actually have the same thing to say. That these conventional Western medicine just does not cut it. We have totally isolated each individual body part saying, oh, you have a problem with your arm, you have a cancer on your arm, let's cut it out. We are one big universe in this body, one big planet in this body. Everything is interconnected. Every single person you know is connected to you in some way. Every single word that you speak is all part of something. It's a tapestry. It's no such thing as just an isolated incident. Like, Oh, I lost my job. What the fuck? No, man. It's all part of the flow of life. It's all, this is all one big flow. And you cannot connect to the flow until you detox. Well, you can, but it's much harder. <laughs>